You're watching KCCI Channel News Leader with Molly Cooney, Jason Hoffman, and meteorologist Mike Lozano. This is News Channel 8. They have been on the scene for more than 11 hours now, and firefighters still are trying to put out a blaze at a Des Moines uniform company. The first that plane carrying a Perry family has disappeared without a trace. Now, search crews say they may be narrowing their search. Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us. I'm Jason Hoffman. And I'm Molly Cooney. We'll have more on that missing plane and a live report coming up in just a little bit. The first big fire in the southeast side is causing some big headaches for Des Moines firefighters. That's right. They've been battling a blaze at the Aladdin Linen and Uniform Rental Company on Southeast 18th Street all through the night and throughout this morning. News Channel 8's Ann State is live on the scene with the latest. And Ann, is the blaze out yet? It is not out yet. They have been here since about 1 in the morning, and as you can see, it is still going. In fact, they've got two aerial ladders working on the fire now. We can show you one of them right there. Firefighters say they will probably be here for a while. Could even be here till tomorrow, putting out the hot spots. But they say that is not unusual for a commercial fire. They say when you fight a fire, a big fire like this, it is no small task. This was a rare scene this morning. It was one of the few times firefighters were actually able to get this close to the fire at the Aladdin Uniform Company. <laughs> firefighters inside made a narrow escape when the roof collapsed. With just seconds to spare, they got out, and they didn't go back. Well, we've had to go to a defensive operation, which means we're operating on the outside of the building. The plumes of smoke seem to only flow throughout the night, and the first signs of daybreak brought little in the way of relief firefighters. The fire chief says this building has been remodeled several times. He said the old layers trapped the flames. Burrowing so far into the walls and going across the roof. Going into the morning, firefighters were still attacking the blaze from the sidelines, or in this case, the sky. In the first few days, the The fire got so the smoke was coming through just the smokeless past in the brick wall. Meanwhile, some of the workers stood by in silence. But 